Hi and welcome to our channel, the best place to learn how to use and master Canva. In today's tutorial, I'll show you four tricks to add movement to your designs. Basically, I'll show you how to transform static images like this one so that it has movement like this one. All the tricks that I'm going to show you in this step-by-step -step video tutorial are free, meaning that anyone with a Canva free account or Canva Pro account can follow this video. So make sure that watch until the end so that you don't miss any of the tricks. So are you guys ready for this video? Let's go to my computer. Okay, so here we are on my computer and I'm going to start working or I'm going to start with a template that is already available in Canva. So if you want to use any of the templates that I'm showing here on the screen right now, I'm going to leave you guys the link on the description. This is my Canva profile so you can access all of these templates. Uh, before going ahead, I just want to show you that below each template we have this little crown or we don't have anything. If we don't have anything, that means that this template is free. If it has a crown, it means that it's available only for Canva Pro users. So let's go for this one, which is free for everyone to use and then use this template. Okay, so as we can see here, our image is static. It doesn't have any movement. It doesn't have any animation. And we're going to add something so that this um, image or this design has a little animation. So let's go to the menu on the left hand side. Here we see uh, different categories of uh, menus or different, no. And we have different categories, yeah. Okay, as we can see here, uh, we have a static image. This is a static design. It doesn't have any animation or movement. So the first trick that I'm going to show you is how to add a little animation to this design. So let's go to the menu on the left hand side and select elements. We are going here and then we scroll down and we see here stickers. Let's click here on see all and then we can add any of the elements or the stickers that we see here on Canva or we can actually type, for example, let's type sparks and then we leave the stickers, the word stickers at the end. So sparkle stickers and then we have a bunch of different stickers or animations with uh, the design or the illustration of some sparkles. So we can use any of these. And if we add this animation to our design, this one automatically becomes into a video or a animation. So we can see here that this button appeared when we included this animation into the design. So when I deleted it, the button is gone, but when I add this little animation, we have the button here. So let's preview it. And then we have a little video. Okay, so the second trick to make this static image a video or for this static image to have some movement is to actually add a video to our design. So how do we do this? We can actually upload our own videos to Canva and then insert these videos into our design or we can use Canva's videos into our design or we can browse Canva's library to add one of the videos that is already available in the platform. So let's go to the same menu on the left hand side and select videos. Here we can insert any of the videos that we see right here that Canva is suggesting but we can also type here for anything that we need so uh, Canva is also uh, giving us here some ideas but let's try with gradient okay so here we have a bunch of videos and all of them have the crown which means that these videos are available for Canva Pro users but if you scroll down you will see that there are actually a couple of these videos 
that are for free. So let's uh, use one of these. We have a couple of videos here that I think are going to add some interesting movement and some little animation that people are going to be asking you, oh, how did you do that? So as you can see here, we have this really great animation in the background, which I think is really, really cool. There is another one here, which I think it also looks very amazing. So yeah, I suggest you go to the video library, do some search, try to find different um, keywords and I'm sure you're going to find something really cool for your designs. Okay, trick number three to animate your static designs is to actually use the animate feature in Canva. So if you pay attention here in the Canva editor, there is a button that says animate. So let's go here and click. Click or open it. <laughs> okay, let's say, let's open the animate menu and here we'll find a bunch of different options to animate our design so if you have a canva pro account you can use the ones that you see here with the crown but if you have a canva free account you can use these uh, five options right here which i think are really really cool as well so you can click on them and preview the little animation on your design. So I think this is really, really amazing and anyone can use it. I think you can create very cool videos in Canva and it's everything for free. So I suggest you go and try this out. Okay, and before going to the last trick, I'm going to suggest you guys two videos right here. I think you guys are going to be interested in those videos. So the first one is how to create videos with only photos. You guys suggested me to create that video. So if you haven't seen it, I think you're going to like it. And also I'm going to suggest another video in which Ronnie gave us five tips to create amazing presentations. That video is really cool. So also very, very recommended. And now let's go to the next trick. Here we are in the last trick and I think this one might be the coolest trick because it gives you a lot of room for creativity. And we are going to do a manual animation. So let's see. I'm going to show you how I'm going to make this flower move from right to left, from one side to the other. And this is going to be very, very simple. So I changed some little details in the design. So this one looks better. I removed the background photo and I added this solid color. And then I, of course, added this little illustration. Um, I think I also have room to suggest you guys another video in which I give you a bunch of different keywords for you to find cool elements in Canva and this one is in that video. So if you are interested in finding this set of illustrations, just go and check that video after finishing this tutorial. So uh, how am I going to make this flower move from one side to the other? I'm just going to... Uh, finalize my design let's say that your design is done and now I'm going to duplicate this page but before duplicating it I'm going to edit the timing here and I'm just going to leave like one second and hit done now I'm going to duplicate this page and what I'm going to do is to move this flower a little bit to the left and then maybe why not adding a little rotation like four um, degrees i think you say yeah four degrees then i'm going to duplicate it again move the flower a little farther maybe tilt the image again um, duplicate the image again and then keep repeating this process until we reach the other side of this um, 
little square. So this is a simple animation. You of course can add different movements or different ideas to your animation or your video, but let's try this one out and let's see how it looks. So I'm just going to preview this animation, clicking here on this button and let's see how it looks. Oops. Okay, so there is a problem here. I forgot to remove this animation. So let's go back here to the animate button and click on none and apply to all the pages. So this is important if you want to create this trick or this manual animation, it needs to be set to animate none and all pages need to be uh, on none. So let's go back. Okay, so now, because we don't have any animation or any sticker on this Canva document, we don't have access to the preview button. But let's just download this video. We are just going here to download and we're going to select MP4 or you can select GIF, whatever uh, file that you prefer. Let's go for MP4 and download. And then we'll see how this animation looks. Okay, so here we have our little animation and let's see how it looks. So as you can see here, the flower is moving from one side to the other. This is a very simple trick and maybe it doesn't look very fast, but if you want to have a more uh, smooth animation, I will suggest you add more pages and move the flower like little by little and also maybe reduce the timing. Instead of selecting one second, why not maybe trying 0.5 actually? And let's add this to each page. Okay, so what I did very quickly now is that I changed the duration of each page from one second to 0.5 for each of the slides and I think, I hope that you can see a difference. I think maybe 0.5 or maybe less than that can look better for this type of animation. So you can see that the animation or the movement looks much better in comparison to the previous one. Okay, so let me know which of the four different options I show you today you prefer. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you three free tools in Canva that you don't know yet and you are going to love. So if you are interested in that tutorial, subscribe to this channel so you don't miss it out. On the other hand, if you want to learn more about Canva, I'm going to leave you guys some tutorials right here that I think are going to help you a lot and I'm going to leave an affiliate link here in case that you want to try Canva Pro for free for 45 days that is 15 days more than in the Canva's website that's all for now I wish you a nice day and I guess see you in the next tutorial bye